Thank you for tuning in to Bringing the Heat with Regina Weston. Here we inspire and deal with topics that matter. Stay tuned. A cult mentality. That is the name and title of this podcast. I think some of these pastors are losing their mind. So, I just want to set the record straight. What is the assignment of a pastor? Because some of y'all got it twisted. According to churchleaders.com, the primary duty of a pastor is to spread the word of God. And shepherd followers seeking spiritual guidance. As taught in 1 Peter 5, 2 and 4. In fulfillment of their calling, pastors dedicate themselves to studying the Bible and preaching. But see, some of y'all haven't been called to preach to nobody. A lot of stuff that I see online has me questioning what in the Pandora box is going on here. Pastors jumping on chairs. Pastors trying to make a name for themselves. Wanting to be celebrities. God didn't come here trying to be no celebrity. He came here trying to save the loss. We were the ones that he gave his life for on the cross. The only one who we are supposed to worship is God. You error when you start making God out of these pastors. Exodus 34 and 14 said, For thou shalt worship no other God for the Lord, who name is jealous, is a jealous God. Your pastor is not the one that's waking you up, boo. You better know who you're supposed to be worshiping. Y'all better wake up and read your Bible. Self-made preachers and the reason why you so easily stirred and misguided because you have itching ears. You want to hear feel good messages. Hmm. Tell me what's right so I can get myself together. Don't tell me what I want to hear. Because see, I don't want to make hell my home. Recently, I have seen so many so-called pastors saying all type of vow stuff over the pulpit. In the name of the Lord. And trying to justify themselves. One lady recently just said she was going to go outside and beat this woman ASS because she felt that the woman was messing with her husband. She said that over the pulpit. Then she later came back and apologized. But it really wasn't an apology because she further went to say, I meant what I said. If you mess with my husband, I'm coming for you. Now, see, that's not funny. It's really not funny. But listen, it just tickled me. The boldness. Of the things that people will say in the house of God. And then think what they're saying is right. Again, God didn't call them to be dictators. And he sure didn't tell you to be saying, well, child, you going to whoop somebody in the church. And for them to meet you in the parking lot. Girl, you ain't in grade school. He call- If he called you to preach, he called you to preach. And the mentality of the church and its role in the people's lives have certainly changed from what God has intended. Wake up, folks, and put God first. The pastor is flesh and bone like you. And when he or she starts over, stepping their bounds and taking the role of God in your life, baby, that's a problem. That is a problem. And this is how cults are developed. When you begin to put more stock in the man and forget about God. The Bible is your roadmap, baby. Know it for yourself. And don't detour from that. Don't be fooled by some of these preachers and their fancy words. Some people have the gift of speaking. Some people have the gift of manipulating. And some people are just gifted and lying. If you don't know your word, you can be tripped up. Anything should not go on in the house of God. Anything should not be said over the pulpit and justified either. Come on, folks. Did Jim Jones teach y'all anything? Look him up and see how he led them folks astray. And for those who need a reminder, I'll go ahead and give it to you. Jim Jones was a pastor and he and the members of his inner circle orchestrated a mass murder-suicide in his remote commune at Jonestown, Guyana on November 18, 
1978. Think for yourself, boo. His followers believed that he was the man of God too. Yet he led them to their death. Spiritually and naturally. Some of y'all are being led to your death. Why? Because you won't use the common sense that God has given you. And you forgot about God and made the man the idol. Baby, you're not in the book. And I'm going to leave you with this. Read your Bible. Pray to God. And know the voice of the Lord for yourself. And know the man or the woman that is feeding your soul. Know their character. And baby, you better know their motives. If you would like to support this podcast, you can do so. By using my cash app at dollar sign R Weston two five two. Thank you for tuning into Bringing the Heat with Regina Weston.